Hello everyone, my name is Don, the movie reviewer, and today we're going to be talking about Alien Covenant. You hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. <gasps> What's happening? <laughs> I need you back here right now. I need you back. Okay, baby, just calm down, sweetheart. Calm you down. Tell me to calm down. You You're breaking up. <laughs> Holy. Alien Covenant is a sequel to director Ridley Scott's movie called Prometheus that came out in 2012. Also, this movie serves as a prequel to director Ridley Scott's 1979 movie, Alien. Why haven't we at least reached the events leading up to the 1979 Alien movie? All this is is a cash-grabbing machine. You're milking the cow until all the milk is gone and dry. Sorry, that's besides the point. I actually like this movie. This movie delivers on all the old alien fun while also adding something new and fresh to the alien series. Yeah, it's like beating a dead horse when you try to revitalize an old franchise, but unlike <coughs> Terminator, <coughs> excuse me, this movie serves up on all of the old school excitement from both Alien and the Aliens movies while also experimenting with the alien's origin and what this universe wants to perceive of the human existence. Unlike the previous franchise I just mentioned, this franchise can manage to satisfy hardcore fans of this year without compromising its integrity because they want to expand the mythology with taking the franchise in a new direction. All of the nails and bolts work in this movie. It has the aliens we know and love. It has the intense excitement from the 1986 Aliens movie. It has a female character that we can get behind. It has disposable crew members that are just meant to be slaughtered and killed one by one. It has tense moments that build and build and build. Problems escalate. It doesn't really clear up what happened at the end of Prometheus. It's pretty bad. It gives us some background as to where in the hell did these aliens come from? Does Alien Covenant really do anything new here? Kinda. Fastbender delivers an eye-catching performance here. He's a really talented dude. Why doesn't he get more recognition? Katherine Watterson. I didn't know who she was when I saw this, but then I looked her up, and I recognized her from the 2015 Steve Jobs movie, which also starred Fassbender. Watterson was good in this role. At first I thought, oh, she's a Sigourney Weaver, Ellen Ripley ripoff. But as the movie progresses, her character starts to come into her own, and she starts to grow on you. But I really don't think they give her enough to do in this movie. Billy Crubup, whatever his name is. He was fine. He really didn't do much here either. Danny McBride, the man of the hour. He was good. Tension was rising because of him and his actions towards things. McBride, next to Fassbender, was one of the most effective performances in this movie because every scene with him, you were right by his side. You could tell where he was coming from. He was just your average everyday individual. He was down to earth, and if some shit went down, McBride's character is a definite person you would want to have by your side. All of these players here are just set up to get killed. Really, Scott has been falling off the wagon lately. But he did direct The Martian, which was a really good movie. Then I always say that that really wasn't his doing. It was already a good book to begin with so it must have been easy to adapt due to Scott's directing skills. But then when you think about it, there aren't many well-made book-to-screen adaptations. This is pretty much a rehash of what we've already seen before. Disposable crew members, they go to a planet, weird shit happens, people do stupid shit. But rationally, you don't know how you would react in those extreme situations. But as an audience member, I know what to expect, and what I expect usually happens. So it's like my mind is battling between, hey, we've seen this shit before, 
Don't go near that thing. What are you doing, you idiot? As far as the characters in this movie are concerned, they don't know what the hell is going on, so I can let it slide. One gripe that I will stick with is there is way too much pretty bad looking CGI here. There are scenes in this movie where if you look too closely at an object, it looks absolutely fake. It's not horrible or anything, but it's pretty bad compared to <coughs> Rogue One. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> But that's Disney, and they have like a gazillion dollars, so. But man, do I miss the puppets being used in the old films, because this CGI alien shit looks pretty bad if you look too closely. Believe it or not, I had fun with this movie. It started off slow and boring, but I understood the story it was trying to tell during the opening act. Once the crew members get onto the planet, that's when I feel like things are getting better. Tension builds, things escalate, and by the end of the movie, my heart was pounding. I'll give Alien Covenant a B. I had fun with this movie. I enjoyed the performances of Michael Fassbender, Danny McBride, and Katherine Watterson. During the first few moments, I didn't know what character was what and who meant what to whom. It's like you're trying to establish characters without us really getting to know who they are and what they represent. The actors that I just mentioned are the ones who I feel get more screen time and development than others. When certain characters die, I really don't give a fuck because who are they? While they have some cool death scenes, too many characters just meet their brutal demise without a second thought. This is the kind of movie as to where if you're a fan of this franchise, you may be easily impressed. But if you're not too deep into the mythology, then this is just a fun thrill ride for action horror junkies. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.